Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So here's my quick review of episode 5 of uh, What If. This review is going to be a bit shorter just because I have quite a bit of videos to, to do today. I want to do a Halloween Kills video because we do have some reactions to, to the movie. So I want to talk about those reactions and the early reviews out for the movie. And I also want to talk about the Matrix trailer because I... I watched it and I am absolutely hyped for the movie. I've I've watched all three of them. I actually watched the first and second one pretty pretty recently. The third one I haven't watched probably since it came out, and that was like what fifteen years ago. So like I have to rewatch that definitely before the movie to be able to understand where the story is right now because I I don't remember where it left off and. That's why in my my trailer reaction, it's not really reaction, it's more of a review. I'm just going to give my thoughts of the trailer and what I thought of it, just because I it's going to be hard to break it down and, and talk about the Easter eggs from the, from the original trilogy and stuff like that, unless I see stuff from the first and second movie. But like, yeah, I'll definitely have to rewatch that right away this way. For if I do other Matrix videos, then I'll have to, I got to know what I'm talking about, right? But I mean, using the the Alice theme, like, that was really great, really gave me uh, the, the, the first Matrix vibes. But anyways... Obviously, before going any further, this will contain spoilers for episode five of Marvel's What If, but let's jump into this. So first of all, I guess I should just uh, mention a quick note on episode four. I thought episode four was a great episode. It was my favorite up until What If Zombies. Uh, Doctor Strange is insanely powerful. It really, I mean, that story speaks a lot to his personality, uh, in my opinion. And I just, I, I loved it. I absolutely loved how dark it was. It, it was really great. It was such an interesting take on the character. And it just really shows the boundaries that could, or that can be pushed in the MCU if they really wanted to. And it shows the possibilities, right? Like an animation, of course, they're going to do all this stuff because they can. That's why Marvel's What If is really great is because you can do these insane comic stories. You can go into these crazy uh, scenarios because it's a What If series, right? This is why I want The Walking Dead to do that. I think there's a lot of possibilities there. If you're if you're if you do a What If series, I mean, it, it's literally it is endless. You can do whatever you want and you can also make a story out of it, which I do expect they are doing because an episode five ends on a cliffhanger that I hope we see more from. But episode five, like I said, really great episode. I, I, I really enjoyed it. Marvel Zombies is just something i've been waiting for for a very long time now the the story i mean actually the beginning scene there uh, it really reminded me of days gone by with like with rick in the walking dead when he left the hospital and he was reacting to the whole world and uh it's hilarious because robert kirkman actually wrote marvel zombies like 15 years ago uh, and yeah because of course he did right and it's a very similar story in the comic they, they use very similar characters as, as well as what the show used here um the zombies are different obviously than the walking dead zombies because they're able to, like, they're intellectually able uh, to use their powers. Uh, they're very fast, and, you know, they're with it, and they just have that classic zombie trope to them, but, like, they're basically just zombies, but they have special powers and stuff. So I think that's what made it really exciting. It was actually a, a refreshing tone, a refreshing feel to the zombie genre. I will say I wasn't a fan of, of the humor too much. It definitely is a little off-putting sometimes. That's something that I feel a lot with the Marvel movies, at least sometimes. The humor is spot on. Like in Shang-Chi, it was pretty spot on with the humor. I was worried that it was going to do a Guardians of the Galaxy 2 thing where... Yes, the movie was funny, but it's like it knows it's funny, so it's just not that funny anymore, and it's kind of annoying, right? Marvel's What If kind of feels like that, but sometimes. And mostly it might have been just this episode, really, but still, I, I thought it was fine. And by the way, I totally forgot to post a, a Shang-Chi review. I told, like, I literally I watched it early. I was able to watch it early, and I, and I didn't even post the review. Wow, I can't believe that. I thought I did for some reason. No, but I, I actually never did. I can't believe that. Well, definitely comment down below if you want to get my review on that movie, because it is a little bit late, but... Hey, I mean, if you really want a review from me for that movie, I'll definitely do it because I, I, I enjoyed the movie. But we get to the ending and we obviously see that uh, Vision sacrifices himself. He rips up the Mind Stone and uh, there's this whole thing there. Scar or Scarlet, which is like the big villain, it seems like, or at least until the end, because obviously the cliffhanger there is they end up at Wakanda. But Thanos is a zombie and he's waiting there for the Mind Stone, which they just brought to him. <laughs> and like... That was a great ending. I mean, seeing Thanos as a zombie was just so cool. And so, yeah, I, I mean, overall, like I could break this episode down into Easter eggs, but a lot of other people are going to be doing it. I just want to give my quick thoughts on the episode, and I, I really enjoyed it. I think that even if you're not a fan, especially if you're if you're a fan of the channel here and you've been a subscriber for a while because you like zombies and The Walking Dead and stuff, check this one out. If you have Disney Plus anyways. You know, if you're not a, that big of a fan of Marvel, I would say check this one out specifically because Marvel Zombies, it's a lot of fun. It's an animated thing. You know, you, uh, if, if you have kids, your kids can definitely watch it because, I mean, it's it's a cartoon and it's Marvel. It, it's, uh, you know, it, it's a really great thing. And I would say that's actually what's kind of fun about the What If series because m my son, he's 
well, he's going to be three in, in like two weeks from now. But like he can't really watch like the adult movies, like the MCU movies and stuff. It's it's, you know, seeing real humans. He doesn't really react to it too much unless they're animals and he'll like stare at them. But cartoons he does. And, I, you know, this episode he loved because Spider-Man was, was in it. So, yeah, definitely a recommend for me. But anyways, if you've watched it, post your thoughts down below. Hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.